So what's going on guys, it's JMSB Boxing, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I've seen in any of my videos, like always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Javonta Davis, is saying that he is going to be another level when he faces Liam Walsh on May 20th at the Copper Box Arena, Liam Walsh, British fighter. A number one mandatory to Javonta Davis's IBF Super Featherweight title. And I think this is a very interesting fight. You've got Davis, who's promoted by former boxing superstar Floyd Mayweather Jr. And you've got Walsh, who's promoted by Frank Warren. The show will be on Box Nation and BT. And this is a very interesting fight. Javonta Davis tra obviously travelling to the UK for this fight, but to quote him here, he says, Liam Walsh, he is a good fighter. We can't take nothing away from him. He's my mandatory, so we're taking him pretty serious. I actually looked at a couple of his fights also, and he's a decent fighter. I'm just on another level. My mind, my skills, I'm on another level than what he's saying and what he's comparing himself to. Liam Walsh is undefeated, so I don't know. I have to see when I get in there. On paper, you could say he's my toughest opponent, but I don't know yet until I get in with him and see what he brings to the table. And... This is an interesting fight in my opinion. I am favouring Javonta Davis in this fight. By about 65-35 in his favour. That's what percentage I'm giving it. Because Javonta Davis is a very good fighter. In his last fight against IBF champion Jose Pajavra. In which he won the title. He looked fantastic. But in the fight I thought he was getting outboxed a little bit in the earlier rounds. And he looked a little bit frustrated, but then his youth and his strength managed to get on top of Jose Pedraza and he managed just to break Pedraza down, catch him with some really hard shots and stop him in the seventh round. And that's what Javante Davis likes to do. He likes to get on top of his opponents and just land them hard shots. But Liam Walsh is a very underrated boxer in my opinion. He's a very slick worker in there. He's got good movement. He can spin out of range and stuff like that. And... He has got decent punch power as well, 14 knockouts in 21 victories, never lost as a professional. And Liam Walsh has just done everything he can do at domestic level, at European level, fringe world level. And the best wins on his record are Andre Klimnoff and former featherweight champion of the world Scott Harrison. And on Davis's record the best wins are Pedraza and former IBF super featherweight champion Cristobal Cruz so I'm going to favour Davis in this fight I just think Davis is a top fighter when it comes to just putting pressure on his opponents and landing them hard shots I think he'll be the harder puncher and I think he'll have the quicker hands than Liam Walsh in there I think he'll be able to get on top of Liam Walsh but I wouldn't count Liam Walsh out in there because this is his chance we don't know how good Liam Walsh is at the high level and a lot of people sing Liam Walsh's praises that this guy is a very good boxer and that he can take on top guys. In my opinion whoever wins this fight won't be the top dog at £130 as long as Lomachenko is reigning nobody's touching him at £130. I think he could beat Davis and Liam Walsh in the same night. I think he's just on another level to all the other champions in that division but Davis is obviously trying to cement himself into the boxing scene he's with Floyd Mayweather obviously so he's got that back in and he's being held as Floyd Mayweather's new prodigy and he's just looking for the big fights and yeah I'm looking forward to this fight on May 20th I think it could be a good fight and I wouldn't be too shocked if Liam Walsh somehow managed to beat Javante Davis everyone would go on like this is a big shock but I don't I think Liam Walsh is a very good boxer and on the night if it all clicks for him and he just frustrates Javante Davis because Javante Davis, yeah, he looked good against Pedraza, but who knows? Maybe he's too raw for somebody as slick as Liam Walsh, who's been a professional for a lot longer. So, yeah, comment below your opinion on this. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.